Hey everybody, so uh, in this quick little video I'm going to give you a quick how-to on how to use the Google Meet Chrome extension for breakout rooms. You really have to practice this with other people to know how to do this and so here we go for the how-to. So there are several steps and I will list them out for you. So the first step is to download the Google Chrome extension for breakout rooms it'll be in the description below this video and to make sure that you have the update for Google Meet Grid and I'll put that in the description for the video as well on YouTube okay second step is you have to activate the extension I'm looking over here because that's the screen that I'm showing you but my camera is here so if I'm looking over here don't get distracted here we go so Google Meet Breakout Rooms I click it it showed up on my other screen, so I'm gonna drag it over right here. And this is what the breakout rooms dashboard looks like. You didn't see it in the session that I ran on uh, Remind, but this is how I was managing the rooms. So, as Kate said in her demonstration of this extension, the first thing you do is add a course. So, I'm gonna do my first course for first period, okay? So I'm gonna do chemistry, period one if I can spell it and okay and you hit save if you want to delete it deletes from the bottom if you accidentally delete you can always hit the undo right here okay the next step is to hit rooms and you want to create the rooms for your chemistry class for my chemistry class so I go to chemistry period one under course I'm under the rooms tab and there's a main room so where do I get this from well I get this from classroom so I'm going to create a class minimize that now obviously this is not the official room because those will be made by CPS so I'm not gonna spend too much time creating this room here okay you see this generate meet link I'm gonna generate the link and this way it's the same every single time now as Kate said this lookup thing this means this is a nickname it's not the actual Google meet URL it's a placeholder so that it's not always the same it's a security thing that that uh, Google has done so I copy it, right? And I go back to my breakout rooms dashboard and I paste that in, right? Control V or Command V on a Mac. Notice it'll turn green, which is a nickname. Now I wanna add rooms, right? So the way you create your breakout rooms is you hit this plus sign and it creates rooms. So I just say I wanna create four breakout rooms. And I'm just gonna call them B1, B2, B3, B4, right? For breakout. Now, I give them a name. So, and notice when I type it in, it turns green, means it's a nickname. It's a placeholder for the actual meet URL, but it's clickable by the student when you provide them the link. Once you are done entering the nicknames here for each room, you have to hit save. Otherwise, it won't keep those names. Now you go to meet and you're ready to get started. You have to tell it how many breakout rooms you want. Maybe instead of the four rooms you have, you want to have three rooms today. So we're going to do three rooms. Okay? I'm going to open the main room first. And when it does that, it opened it on my other screen. So I'm going to show it to you here. And it opens it for you. It creates the preview window, but then it opens you into the room. You just have to wait. I click once on the window to activate it and once to get past the pop-up window. And now I'm in the room. Notice that in this little dashboard, I have the speaker on, but the, my microphone is off and my camera is off. But I can turn it on and now I'm here as well as in the corner of the screen, which is a little bit weird, okay? Now, 
I'm talking to my students, you know, I've, th this is the link they always use to get into the class that we have for that day. Now, I'm giving, I'm welcoming them then, we're talking about the lesson for today, and now I'm going to say we're going to go into breakout rooms, right? So, because the students are attending, you can do this ad hoc, so you can click on this tab which says ad hoc, and all the student names will be here. You have to believe me, it's there. I've, this is what happened on the Remind session. And I can hit this button to randomly assign, and it puts them into B1, B2, or B3. Just randomly, and I can, they don't see this because you're not sharing this part of your screen. You can move kids around. You can take kids off. You can exclude yourself because maybe you don't want to be assigned into a room. And then you can actually drag kids around because maybe you see a combination on this random, random alignment that doesn't work. But once you're done, you click here, and it tells you the assignments. Well, first thing you do is you click here to copy the breakout room links and you, so I'll copy it, I'll open up the chat window and I'll put it in command V, control V. And now I'm going to tell them each of the room assignments. You cannot push the students into the rooms. They have to choose to go into a room. As the guy who wrote this said, it's a democracy. So they get, to, they have to choose. And then you click here and it gets the assignments, puts it in the clipboard, command V or control V, and you hit enter. Now it's blank because there are no students in this class, right? Because I'm sitting here by myself. But you can randomly assign them using that random generator and put them in, okay? Then your students start going to the other rooms. They're muted in the main room, right? Because generally they're muted, right? You can also mute them by going to the dashboard here. It says mute and remove participants. And you can mute everybody in the main room right here. They can be in two rooms at once. They just have to know that they have to be talking in the breakout rooms. So let me open up the breakout rooms because you want to open them, right? So the students actually have somewhere to go. So you open sync the breakout rooms. Now what you don't see is that on my other screen, these are opening here. And these are my three breakout rooms, right? And it's automatically opening them. I just had to pause and wait for it to do its job. You click on each window once to activate the window, once to get the class to pop up, once to activate the window, once to get past the pop-up, once to activate the window, once to get past the pop-up. Now notice, I am in three different rooms, but I, my camera is off and my microphone is off. I go over here to my breakout dashboard, and I can hit this red button, and it will retile all my slides. Now it's done this on my other screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag them over just so that you can see it. But when you do this, it'll drag, it'll do it on your main window. This is my secondary screen. So that's why it looks like this, okay? Now I've lost the dashboard. So I'm gonna get the dashboard back, dashboard. The way I can get the dashboard back rather than moving a window is all I do is click the little puzzle piece and get it back. And I can hit this little, this little minimize button and it makes it small and I can put it in the center and manage all my rooms at the same time. If you have two screens, you could do one main room plus another seven rooms easily on two screens. If you have more than two screens, go for it. So right now, I'm in the main room and my speaker is on. I can hear any student that talks in my room. My microphone is on and my camera is on. I'm gonna hit this and look what happens. It says B1, and look, in breakout one, I have moved, without moving my body, of course, right? In a real room, you'd have to move your legs to go to the other group. Here, you don't have to. Now, my, everything is active in this window, but not in the main room. All students should be there. They should all be muted. They will get feedback if that happens. All you do is tell them to mute their microphone, or you can do it for them. 
by going down to mute participants and mute everyone in the main group. Now, I'm going to go to the next room. And when you do this, you should announce it to your students because you don't want just to be leaving a room and they're like, hey, wait, 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 right? You can also have the chat windows open in every room, right? You can monitor the chat, but obviously they'll be talking. You can see their, you can see their little uh, halos moving when they're chatting, right? Or you can see their lips moving in, uh, if their videos are on. Again, notice that I'm active in this window, but not active in the other windows. I'm going to do it again. And look, I'm moving from room to room. And it automatically mutes me in the old room and activates me video and microphone in the new room. I think this is the real power of the tool, right? Because you can create groups, right? You can create groups anywhere. In fact, that's what's happening here on this pre-assigned tab. All you're doing is taking the kids' names from your roster and putting them together on a list. You could share that document, if, like on a Google Sheet, maybe you have all the, all the group members on a, on a list and you just share that in the chat window and the kids figure out where to go, then they click on the link here for where they have to go. At the end of class, or maybe there's three minutes of class left, you see this. This is a great tool. You can turn on the speaker, unmute yourself, and show yourself in every breakout room. And just say, just say you thought one of me was too much. Now there's four of me on the screen going at once. And so you can say, hey, there's three minutes of class left. Will you please finish up and submit your assignment for, for today? Then I will remove myself from every breakout window because it's weird for me to be on camera so many times. And then at the end of class, you do it again. You say, okay, everybody, class is over. Really good job. And then you can remove all people from the room that you're in. Mute all. You can, again, mute all the people in the room. You can mute all of them in the breakouts. You can remove all breakouts. Now, it's not perfect. It does it very slowly, except you don't have to do the clicking. You click this button, it removes all the kids from the breakouts, but it does it one by one. So, and sometimes you have to press this button multiple times. Not perfect, but you can do it manually too if you want. And you can move kids from the main room. And the last but not least, here are some other things that you can download into a CSV file. You can download the attendance for all your participants. And then all you have to do at the very end is close every window. And you're done. So I hope that's helpful. So if you need help, you need someone to practice this with, shoot me an email. Bye, everybody. Have a good one.